What's up guys? Finally I have installed the T10 V3.1 and I want to try to set it up for the first time. This is a first time setup for the T10 V3.1. <clears throat> so basically I'm going to try to cover everything possible to set up your head unit when the first time you install it. So I don't need to talk about the installed video. It's the same exact installed video as the previous models. Um, I can link in the description the installed videos of the previous models. It's the same exact one since the T10. And you can follow it, <clears throat> excuse me, you can follow it exactly the same, 2014 to 2019, even 2023. It's exactly the same, 2010, 2013, join the group, admins and mods and members of 2010-13 will assist. So basically right now, I just installed this head unit. It's telling me it's it has two uh, cell phone towers or lines. I'm in North America, I'm in Canada, but I have an AT&T SIM card that I want to disable my um, whatever Chinese network there's CDMA over there and then enable the North American one so I'm gonna go to settings and then more click on network and internet scroll down to sim cards turn off sim slot 1 keep Slim saw 2 on, as you see it says AT&T, right there, and now I have 4G right there. So now it's feeding, my head unit is being fed by the data plan that I have from uh, Stefan Tapia in the group, and it is 100% working with me. So it's all, it all depends from the geographical map where you are and the towers, um, what they're active on or being programmed on. Plus I have connected my Wi-Fi to my phone. So basically I can disconnect the Wi-Fi right now and check if my data is working. If it's not, then definitely you have to go in, then set up your network. It is in the group, in the head unit group, linked in the description. Basically, right now I'm gonna connect my Facebook and Google and everything else. First thing I do whenever um, I, I have set up a new sim or data I go in I don't use my sim because it uses a lot of uh, data so I, I try not to burn through my uh, sim I'm gonna be connecting to my house Wi-Fi <clears throat> so if you have installed the T10 or any other head unit from me or car trim home, it's the same, then this is what you need to do to first set up your unit. So I'm gonna go to Play Store. And try to log in. I'm a little bit further away from my house. So since I need to set up the data or come closer to the Wi-Fi, give me a second. By the way, this, when you first install the unit, you put on reverse if you get the screen. You just click on the star wheel while in reverse. You choose camera. You choose NTSC. There you go. It fixes this issue. This is also mentioned in the installed video in the description and in the group so if you install your camera your head unit you have that screen you know how to fix it now 
I'm just gonna come closer to the house Wi-Fi because I don't want to be using my data. It's three gigs limited. So let me see if it's gonna catch. And remember, I have everything what I received in the box. I don't have, why is it asking me for my password? It should be, uh-huh. So, okay, so I was skipping a number. So now that we're connected, I'm going to log in to Play Store, sign in, put in my credentials. I save everything in, in Play Store and on the head unit so I don't have to log in every time. And I'm putting in my email address, which is my YouTube. My Amazon just, the Amazon right now delivered my Factor 55. We're going to talk about it in another video. Uh, this is one of the best hooks out there for your um, winch. So I'm going to close right now so that you guys don't have my password. And I'm putting in the password for my Gmail. So there you go, password punched in, logging to uh, Play Store. So now it's telling me authentication. I need to authenticate my device because I have two FTA. I'll authenticate and then we'll continue. Okay, so now since it's authenticated, I will be using this device. I'm in control, yes I'm in. I agree. There you go, guys. I can back up my stuff on Google or not. I do say yes so that my Google account saves everything and I don't have to enter it each time. For example, if I want to download Waze, so I come here. That's my GPS. That's what I use. Some people use Google. So I search for Waze, install. We're waiting for ways to be installed. Some people, when they first log into Google Play or they try to download Waze or anything from Google Play, it doesn't log in. Again, in the group, try to clear the cache of your Google. It says clear cache. Use the group like you search on Google. Search the group like you search on Google. You will find mostly all the like not issues but like kind of how to's that we have been supporting the group it's been since 2018 so if you want to search for something try searching the group if you're on a cell phone you click on top right of the cell phone in the group in the head unit group and then search whatever you want if you're on the laptop or um, a notebook or computer there's a search uh, on top of the uh, group there's a search button search it so right now it's still pending so it may need so that I can clear the cache if it doesn't start working it will need to clear the cache and then it will start um, working another way of clearing the memory of the head unit if it's been running for a long time 
is to click this. It will throw out everything and it just released 338 megabytes. Let me try again, log in, search for ways. It's still pending. Um, there may be some updates. <clears throat> my map, my apps. Yeah, so basically it, it is being pending. It's because it's updating all these. So for the purpose of seeing, letting you see what you need to do, you have to update your Play Store every week or so. I do it kind of every two, three days so that all your apps are up to date. If you don't do that, you're going to have black screens, apps are closing, and it's frustrating. This is an Android unit, so treat it as a tablet. This is going to take a bit of time. I'm going to try to do something else while it's updating. This is the main main screen of the head unit while you install it. You can change the background and put a different screensaver or any picture you want. It is in the group. Again, search for uh, the exact words that you want. So technically, if I go to settings and then go to yeah it's still installing and pending so if it keeps doing this it says all pending not installing anything uh, it is it installed Google but if it still says so I may need to clear the cache I will show you how um, so let's see we have So we have maps right there, Google Maps. The internet is deadly right now, guys, because the unit is updating. This is only the first time. Again, this is, right now I just installed it. I removed my T10. This is the T10 V3.1. As you see, all the trim is totally different than the T T10. So if you click on this and then go to display wallpaper, you can put dark theme, colors, contrast. I don't use this. I use the one that is um, on the head unit and not the Google one. So let it update. Once it's updated, if it doesn't, I'll clear cache and then continue. Yeah, it's still pending. Let's clear the cache. We'll go from there. Okay, so I don't need to do any clear cache because it's it's really slow because it's updating and then I'm far away from my house and it's the internet is uh, although I have a 3.0 gigabyte internet download speed but because I'm too far and I have this tempo, like this is our tempo in the winter. So basically it just messes up the whole internet. Yep, my windshield is broken. That's the second time. And a lot of people are in the same boat. Those windshields, even though if it's a Toyota one, it's like messed up. The slightest rock chip chips it. So we were, we had eight updates. It's at the sixth and it's doing some updates. It's going to take time, guys. At the same time, um, 
that's your radio make sure that you choose once you install the unit make sure you choose North America instead of whatever it is so you go to settings factory uh, do not play with this absolutely not do not play with it for the third time do not play with it if you play with this you mess up your head unit it may be bricked because this communicates to the ECU and the canvas that rectangle brown thing which is your for your steering wheel you may need to update it um, once you're connected to the internet but please ask the right question in the group we will be able to assist you so now that we explained that um, in config info you have other options again do not play with it if you don't know what it is simple guys if you do not know what the, the setting does don't try to figure it out you'd better ask a question follow the PSA guidelines everybody that joins the group receives a PSA guideline a welcome uh, message detailed to be guided so please check your messages when you join the group this is a must you answer those questions and you say yes one of the questions is i will read my messages so please read your messages regardless if you have messenger or not it's the first or second post pinned to the group so we move that away we have the rds bc6 bc8 don't touch these this is the bc6 is for the bluetooth then you have aux you can turn off and on sometimes people say the radio works and doesn't work if you have toggled this off your radio will not appear for the air conditioning air control if you turn on the air control and then this red thing pops up this is the option for it air control you can turn off and on stuff like this from here so now we want to change the balance let's say your bluetooth is low bluetooth call is low you can pump it up i leave it as is i don't play with those unless i want slightly on number three my bluetooth call do not use bluetooth music it streams to your uh, from your phone to the radio but the quality is not that great. So use everything native or use CarPlay. I don't use CarPlay, but I use everything native. <clears throat> so we go to let's see. Select region. So this is the region USA. So you need to change it to USA. This is how to change the radio to USA. If you don't do this, then your radio will be on China. It will have some uh, sound like that. So you need to program it again. So once you do that, press the loop. It will scan all your um, channels. Don't press the loop again. It will mess up your channel. So I do it once and then leave it at that. Once I do the channels, then it's programmed. Once it's programmed, you will be able to basically switch with your with your steering wheel. So now that I'm switching with my steering wheel, so now that it's programmed, you can switch it with your steering wheel. That's how you change the um, radio region. So to set up the navigation let's say if i click this a lot of people think this is the navigation this is just a gps to test the satellite in the sky and telling you which gps you're connected to so if i want um, my gps to be ways i go to settings and where was it general i think satellite info it pulls that uh,
navigation application settings. So that one, I can choose what's my navigation application, which I want it to be Waze. You can use Google. You can use any application, TomTom. You can use Gaia. I don't know, whatever you want. You can even set it to T-Link. Let's say some people say, oh, I don't want to go in and look for T-Link. I want it to be on the main page. Well, guess what? You can still do it. I mean, you can set it up as your navigation right there. And then once you click it, it opens, T-Link opens. So these, the, the bottom um, icons cannot be changed. So you can't change it. So as you understood how previously it wasn't um, when you when I click when I logged in to Waze and then I put my information it took it it took time to load so now it's um, responding it wasn't responding before so that's that's my Waze um three hundred fifty three thousand points so so probably I'm um, hundred thousand something. It's been a long time that I have it. So in both cases, that's how you set up um, the navigation to open. Uh, that's my phone. I will need to set up my phone. Do not download the phone book, guys, because once you download the phone book, I have more than 6,000 phone numbers. It will block and start. You're going to start having problems I mean, I don't download my phone book to the to the head unit. And then those are the settings that takes you to this setting, which I don't use except if I'm using network or anything else. So don't play with this unless you want to change your um, uh, network and everything else. This is Google. This, this is a no-go. I don't like this. So the only thing that... I will go here and change is when I want to set up the SIM card. So why didn't I include the SIM setup in this video? Because there's a video, multiple videos on how to set up a SIM card in the group. I just wanted to show you how to disable the SIM um, when you first install the device because it's not going to be um, activated once you have deactivated the SIM one, that's when it starts working. If you need to go how to set up your SIM in the group, in the head unit group, there is a step-by-step -step setup, multiple videos. Please search for that. That's it. So as an initial setup also for the sound, what I do is I click on the DSP. That's a shortcut. You can go from the top two and then you can click on the EQ, takes you to the same place. What I do is, as I said in the beginning, I put rock, then I go to sound surround. I do full car mode, you can change those, and then it changes the music to driver, uh, co-pilot, etc. Then I go to boss boosts. I put 80 hertz, put it on five-ish, and then uh, this is the front, and then on the rear, I go, 80 hertz again, and then I go on 6-ish. Six six so it makes a big difference in the sound, in the bass. Um, this is the gain levels of the speakers. If you put it up to the top, it's gonna, your speakers are going to squeech because the speakers that we have in this truck, it's carton. It's garbage. It's not good. I was, uh, I got the full speaker set from Taco Tunes. Unfortunately, I didn't have time yet to install it. It's been two years. I have too many things to do. And with life taking on and winter coming, every time I say I want to do it now, and it, it doesn't, I don't have time. I have other things to do. Um, apart from that, this is, you can balance from there. And then whoever has amp or sub, this is where you play with those settings. Um, um, I used to be a big fan of amp and sub. I'm 46 now, four kids. If I put on, I used to have this, like, you know, the best sub and the strongest sub. I had once, I had a BMW and I had like eight subs in my BMW. 
if I had applicate that now, my kids would <laughs> close their ears and like think the house will explode. I have a Klipsch uh, surround system in my house. I can't even watch more than, you know, like 10, 15 max. It goes up to 50. So that's where I am in, li in ri life right now. Um, I like bass. I like clarity of I'm at an age that I like clarity of sound and this head unit gives me clarity of sound so this is on the sound basis this folder this is like your computer this is like you can connect a hard disk to it to, to, to the head unit in one of the USBs and then dump everything in there um, I don't know. It's already enough. That's the difference between the 464 and the 6128. Obviously, there's also RAM and ROM. So the the processing RAM um, of the head unit, but uh, it's not, you won't feel it that much unless you have like heavy, heavy programs open and playing games on it and etc. So this acts like uh, your computer or laptop, you can connect storage to it. I have 128 gigs, mine is 6128. I have 12 gigs used. Without even connecting a hard disk to this, you can even download stuff to it and throw it over there and then come and open it from here. So it's like a tablet. Please do not play with those files. Don't delete anything. Anything uh, you delete from there, it may be needed to work or function for the head unit and your head unit will be bricked. Uh, that's it for now. This, this is it for all a startup or a first time enjoying the head unit. Watch out the other videos that are coming soon. So one last thing before I let you go, if you reverse and then the sound stops, you go to settings, you go to sound, uh, you go to reverse, at the bottom, reverse mute, you put it up or down. Personally, I want to reverse so that I can hear the sound if I'm hearing anything in the back or a kid is shouting so I leave it as this I don't mute it 100% so yeah, if I have it like that it just lowers the voice it doesn't mute it if you want to mute it go all the way if you don't want to mute it go all the way up like this so I leave it at that and that's for the reverse um, mute previously known as reverse mute and by the way you can change the settings of the reverse camera from here too instead of going like that and pressing on the screen and then putting camera and then using it from here so that's another option you can change to NTSC uh, from there Reverse delay should be at zero all the time. And reverse mode, reversing. If you put prohibit, prohibit, let's say I put prohibit, there is no more reverse. So you think you've done something wrong. That's why I tell you do not change anything you don't know without advising us. Reverse trajectory, if I put it on, this is the trajectory. When I go left and right, this is the trajectory that it makes a difference. So you see now it's not there. Um, and that's it, guys. That's all there is. Don't play with voice. If you want to play with voice, um, once you set it at, you can't remove it. You have to change to something else. So I don't play with it. And personal, this is my account. As I said, I have Gmail connected right there. And everything is saved. Language choice, English for sure. Anything white screen is dangerous to play with. Why? Because it, it is from here. 
So anything white screen, don't play with it. Those are fine. This is fine. Then there's the MCU upgrade, the system upgrade. Do not play with the system upgrade or MCU unless you tell us. Um, time, I put it as network provided time zone at all times. And that's it. That's it for today. This time it's final. So there you go, guys. So now that we settled the radio, we're going to go back to the settings. When you press the square button, all the settings or the open pages were there. Let's say if you want to close a page, you just go like this, swipe left or right. It closes the page. That's how you close it. So now I'm going to go back to my... Um, settings that I was to continue showing you where I was. So we settled the region. Now the radio antenna power should be on or else it's not going to be that strong, the signal. Let's say you guys, the fob, you know, like, I mean, the knob, the V2 people, you have knobs or even left and right um, with the steering wheel. If the knobs are not the correct direction you press on this and then you do reverse or forward it just tells you which direction you want to turn the knob now there's also the steering wheel up and down steering wheel uh, up and down setting you turn it either either close or open me i leave it on open as is because my steering wheel is okay if i go up it goes up if i go down it go it goes down so that's in factory the code Maybe I didn't mention it um, when I did it. When you go there, I, I forgot. Factory, the code is 123456. Then confirm. This is the page. It opens. So this is how to program. Let's say I want to program a button on my steering wheel. I do start, reset, and then click example um, answer then I'm on, on my steering wheel I click answer and that's how it programs it don't touch that though you don't need to touch it so apart from that this is a first setup uh, you don't need anything else you can start using the radio it's mostly done updating as you see it updated all the files that i have downloaded this is the android system web view it's it's updating so since i downloaded ways i'm going to open it i have a ways account and i have saved all my passwords previously uh usually ways Whoever knows Waze, I had Waze when it still was logging with uh, Facebook. So I have Smart Lock. I want to do Confirm. I want to use my Wave, Waze password through Smart Lock, which I saved on the previous head units. And that's how I have all my account moved to Waze. Once Waze gets installed and it activates, it needs time. So you can't click right now. Your unit nothing is wrong with your unit it just you feel it's it's like stuck it is not stuck this is ways has nothing to do with the with the head unit so you have to wait a bit once you put in your information and it loads you have to wait a bit so i leave it then go to something else i have my youtube and i use my own youtube i log in that's my YouTube. That's my channel. Please subscribe to it. A lot of giveaways are coming. That's the exclusive T10 V3.1 um, video when I launched it. And that's the head unit. So I installed it. Since then, I haven't installed it. Now, there's nothing else as a start. This is the video first time 
um, connecting, you know, to the head unit. Your APKs, all of them are here. Do not do factory default. There's a certain way to do a factory default. If you lose your files, you go to T10, uh, TS10 APK. All your APKs are here. They're right there. But if you go to settings and then scroll down to more and then go to system and then you do reset options and you do erase all data factory reset, you mess up the device. You will not have it back. Impossible to have it back like the factory. There are some files that is going to be gone, that are going to be gone. I highly recommend do not do that factory default. It is in the head unit group. There's a right way and there's a wrong way to do it. So please do not do this factory default from Google, which is more and which is more, and scroll down to System, Reset Options. Please do not use this. Do not use this. Do not use this. The right way of doing it is System, Reset Factory, and then you put a code. I'm not going to tell you what the code is because I want you to ask us what the code is. Probably some of you know what the code is, but still, if you lose some apps, you can still at least get it from the TS10 APK. Other than that, boys and girls, that's it for the first setup. Nothing complicated. Your fuel um, mileage and stuff are there. And that's it. Uh, Ask me in the comments if you need anything. Uh, ask me. I'm really active. There's no comment or question not answered within a second or two. Um, unless I'm sleeping, then the next day. So thanks for watching, guys. That This video is a first setup of the T10 V3.1. Um, a first initial setup, how to get you up and running. Now my next video is going to be because the T-Link or the CarPlay has been changed on this. It's going to be T-Link 5. A lot of people I see that they're, they're having uh, handshake issues with the T-Link 5 because probably you're not setting up correctly or you don't have the latest iOS, etc., etc. So like I had the previous CarPlay uh, set up and explained step by step, I'm going to do a video on the T-Link 5. Enjoy your uh, head unit, guys. Um, link to purchase is going to be in the description with exclusive coupons. Nobody beats the price, neither the support. If you bought elsewhere, please go there for support. Do not try to bypass the questions when joining the group because if it's not answered correctly or the three questions aren't answered, I will not accept the admittance to the group, specifically the order ID. If I find out that you bypass the questions, you'll be in a bad position because I'm all about honesty and I like to help people. Be honest, then I'll help. If you try to bypass the questions and join the group, I will find out. And I've been there, done that. So please be honest. Nobody beats our support. Nobody beats the price. Um, this is the best head unit you can get. Alpine, Sony, um, any other brand, whoever tells you that it beats this, they're lying. With all due respect, with all modesty and humbleness, this is the best unit you can get on the market for the price, for what it does, for the forerunner and most Toyota vehicles. Like any other um well-known brand it's the fraction of the price without needing any extra harnesses nor the trim this is the most oem looking um, 
best head unit on the market. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. The links are in the description of the video. Enjoy this video. Have a beautiful weekend.